City, 1051FM. Hi guys, welcome to Over the Weekend with Buy Me Sasa. So I'm just going to be giving you a recap of the major events that took place over the weekend. Now, the Sound City MVP Awards, oh lord, it was amazing. And of course, the most talked wedding of the decade. You want to find out what it is? <laughs> Stick around, I'll be right back. City, 1051FM. The Sound City MVP Awards took place at the Echo Convention Center and it was hosted by the one and only Bonang Mateva from South Africa. It was amazing. Big congratulations to all the winners of the night, most especially Berno Boy as he secured the throne for the second time in a row as the new King of Afrobeats, winning for the second time in a row <laughs> the African Artist of the Year. Yes, and hey, can I just talk about my top three best dressed of the night yes Shea Awolowo former big brother Nigerian housemate what the way he looked so Africanistic in his attire blue kaftan with the whole muffler it was just so royal yes and of course Dakore Egwison Akondi that monochrome black monochrome was on point and then she complimented with the boots girl came to party last but not the least VJ Adams you look super fly with that sequin jacket and the silver boots. Big ups to you. <laughs> now let's talk about the wedding that took everybody by surprise. Now, congratulations to all those who got married this weekend. But hey, the one we can't still stop talking about is Sandra Ikeji's wedding to the one and only Samuel Arinze. Everybody keeps talking about the 200 bridal train. What? Who does that? Sandra does. They looked really good. And we're just wondering, did they have to create a WhatsApp group? How did they do the makeup? The whole assemble. It was super amazing. Congratulations to them once again. See you next week for Over the Weekend with Vibe. Ciao. City 1051 FM.